Welcome to Structure Fishing. As Buck Perry says, knowledge is the key to fishing success. Structure Fishing is a show that is packed with fishing knowledge. Regardless of your skill level or where you fish or what you fish for, you will learn something on each show that will help you catch more fish. We'll take you on the water and into the classroom. Let's see what we have for you on today's show. Coming up later on HLS News, texting the DNR. Stay tuned for that full story and more later on in the show. Coming up in the classroom, I'll be talking about controls. And that is the things that we can control while we're on the water fishing. But coming up right now, we're going on the water to the Detroit River. The Detroit River separates Lake St. Clair from Lake Erie and is a fantastic fishery. It is a great fishery for walleyes, smallmouth bass, trophy muskies, and tons of white bass. And right now, we're going on the water with my son Casey, who's tied into these white bass. Hi. I'm Casey Shell, and I'm on um, the Detroit River fishing um, a current break, break line. We are using about a three, four inch twister tail on um, a jig. And we're catching white bass, and we caught most of this white bass right in the current. So just cast right in the current, pop it and let it sink. White bass. If you can see, just swallowed it. The of muskie is awesome. White bass. The white bass uh, have spawned. Oh, got one. Yeah, so the white bass have spawned. So that's, and they're going down to Lake Erie. Oh, this is big. Like, and we have little rock bass. See that? These are big ones. Ooh. We have musky, um, smallmouth bass, walleye, white bass. Beautiful fish. We're gonna let this one go. Yeah, so there's a large population of muskie, walleye, rock bass, and white bass. So we're gonna get back out there again, catch more. He messed up my jig. And that's another beauty. That's a small guy. Beautiful. Let's catch some more of these things. There you go. Switch to the color white to see if it was better. He started the modern-day era of freshwater fishing. He is known as the father of structure fishing. 
His discoveries and teachings have brought pleasure and success to millions of fishermen who never even heard his name. He was inducted into the Freshwater Fishing Hall of Fame and the Bass Hall of Fame. He is Buck Perry, founder of the National Spoon Pluggers of America. The National Spoon Pluggers of America continues on today. It is an educational organization comprised of some of the best structured fishermen and clubs across America. The National Spoon Pluggers of America's non-competitive supportive atmosphere is focused on sharing and helping each other and where fishing is still a family sport. For a $30 yearly membership to the National Spoon Pluggers of America, you will receive a bi-monthly newsletter that contains articles by certified instructors who are experienced and intimately familiar with the techniques to help you catch more fish. Receive access to back issues. Receive Spoon Pluggers of America boat decal and patch. Receive an autographed portrait of Buck Perry, a copy of Buck Perry's basic fishing guidelines. You will be invited and welcomed to attend networking events and outings held all over the country. At these outings, you will have opportunities to learn from the best there is, to ask questions and get real answers. You will receive a directory and have access to members and clubs across the country. As Buck says, knowledge is the key to fishing success. Start your knowledge now and become a member. Log on to www.nsoa.info to join. Hey, welcome to the classroom. Today we're talking about controls. We cannot control things like the weather conditions, water conditions, or the appetite of the fish. We have to look at controls as the things we can do to catch more and bigger fish. We can narrow it down to five. Control of depth, speed, size, color, and action. Let's take a look at each one of these. Action. We could compare action as it relates to temperature. That is a slower, lazy action at lower temperatures and a fast, vigorous action at high temperatures. Most all lures we buy today have built-in action and not much can be done to change that. Action should be looked at as a degree of speed. Without speed, there would be no action. When we look at lures with built-in action, we should ask ourselves, will it limit our speed? Our next control is color. This is definitely one control that a lot of fishermen put a lot of significance in. If a nice catch of fish is made, typically the first question is, what did you catch them on? And the second is always, what color? The basic view on color should be, if conditions are bright, such as a bright day or clear water, then we should use bright colors such as silver and white. If conditions are dark, such as a cloudy day or dingy water, then we should use darker colors such as copper and black. Neutral colors like gold, brass, and yellow would work under either condition. The present light condition would determine if there is any color preference. If you do have a favorite color, by all means use it. Having that extra confidence with a favorite color can sometimes give you that added mental awareness and help you put more fish in the boat. Our next control is size. Some fishermen will stick with a certain size or weight and, and try to work that same size or weight all season and wonder why he catches fish just a few times. Most fishermen look at size in relationship to the fish they want to catch. For the most part, fish will try to eat anything as big as they are or even bigger. Big fish can be caught on small lures and small fish can be caught on large lures. Have you ever caught a fish that was nearly the same size as your lure? And we have all heard the story of the huge muskie or northern pike that was caught by someone using a small bait for panfish. Lure size is mostly important for getting better depth control. The rule for size is to use weights and sizes which allow you to present your lures correctly for the time and place for what you are trying to do. Our next control is speed. Speed can vary from very, very fast to zero speed. For the most part, fishermen have a tendency to fish too slow, especially when working in shallow water. Weather and water conditions are the primary conditions that determine speed. As weather and water conditions increase, so should speed. As weather and water conditions decrease, so should, should speed. When working the shallows, speed should increase. When working deep water, speed should decrease. As a general rule, maximum speed would be used in the summertime and a slower speed used during the colder part of the year. To find the right speed, we must check it out. This means varying our speed throughout the day. By doing this, a productive speed can be found. Next control is depth. Some fishermen do not consider that fish change their depth. 
You cannot catch fish unless you are fishing where they are. Depth control is the most important phase of fishing. Depth control means fishing the shallows to the deepest water in the area until the fish are found. Depth control is more than placing a lure at a specific depth. When thinking of depth control, we have to take into consideration the species, the season, water conditions, and weather conditions. So let's recap. We have five controls. Action, color, size, speed, and depth. They can all be very important, but let's see if we can narrow it down. We should treat action pretty much the same as speed, so let's eliminate action. Color. As we said, a basic guideline would be light conditions, light colors, darker conditions, dark colors. Color won't do as much good if we don't have the proper depth control, so let's eliminate color. Next up is size. Size should be looked at as a means of controlling depth, so let's eliminate size. That leaves us with depth and speed. Depth and speed are our two primary controls. If we have the right depth and the right speed, we'll catch fish. Buck Perry states that all fishing success and all fishing failures must be answered in terms of depth and speed control. When making a selection of lures, we must always look at it in terms of depth and speed. For more information on this classroom subject, as well as any others, check out structurefishing.com slash education. Jug that hook. Another nice one. See? It's Detroit white bass. They spawn it so they're going to Lake Erie and they feed on stuff on the way, so we'll catch them. I'm gonna let this guy go. It's been a pleasure to meet you. These fish are just cuckoo for cocoa nuts. We're using a 3-8 ounce jig head with a 4 inch white twister tail. These look like rubs to the um, white bass, so we're going to try this out. Always cast into the current. That's what it looks like all together. I just count to five. It takes 
Right where the current is. Another beautiful. Before heading to your boat and every time you leave the dock, have all the detailed bottom structure you need to target fish, offshore humps, ledges, creek channels, road beds, shown with the most accurate contour lines from Navionics. And it just keeps getting better with sonar charts. Submit your sonar logs for better local charts. The freshest data every day for your chart plotter and mobile device. View our charts online at Navionics.com. XI-5 from Motor Guide, a wireless trolling motor engineered for anglers by anglers, delivering key performance attributes with power, toughness, stealthy, quiet operation. And for you control freaks, our optional pinpoint GPS navigation system lets you position your boat precisely where the fish are, instantaneously, accurately, built to earn you bragging rights. Meet the all new XI-5, only from Motor Guide. Would you like to catch more and bigger fish consistently? Are you tired of all the gimmicks out there? Buck Perry once stated that knowledge is the key to fishing success, not a fancy lure or the latest equipment. For a fraction of the price of a fishing guide, purchase Buck Perry's Guidelines for Fishing Success. This eight-volume home study course will guide you step-by-step step and go over all the mechanics to become a successful fisherman. After completing this home study course, you'll have long-term success that will allow you to feel comfortable on any lake you fish and for any species. For more information and to purchase this home study course, visit structurefishing.com forward slash education. I'm not doing the job to me. Coda is doing the job. Uh, ooh. There's beautiful Detroit white bass. Using a rhino rod. Go has it going at the joint. We're casting we're casting casting the lure into the into the current so we get and let it sink so we get better um better depth control.
the Detroit White Bass. White bass are beautiful. Ooh. He's just creaming it. Looks like the white one is doing a good job. These are just beautiful Detroit um white um white bass. Welcome to HLS News, your hook, line, and sinker news. I'm Candace Pierce. There's a new way for you to help protect Wisconsin's great outdoors. The Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources has added text messaging as a way for citizens to report hunting, fishing, and environmental violations. It takes just seconds to text a tip to DNR's violation hotline. Here's how it works. You start with the text on your phone. On the first line, type in T-I-P-W-N-R, add a space, and type in the tip information. You then send the text to 847-411 or TIP411. Within seconds, you receive a confirmation that hotline operators have received your text message. The service is anonymous and confidential. The DNR depends heavily on the eyes and the ears of the public. With a dwindling budget, the DNR doesn't have the ability to get out as much as they did in the past, so the tip hotline is more important than ever. Many states offer free fishing days when your fishing license is not required during those days. This is a great opportunity to explore some great lakes in another state. For Illinois, free fishing day starts on the second Friday in June and goes for four consecutive days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. For Wisconsin's free fishing days are the first consecutive Saturday and Sunday in June. For Minnesota, the free fishing day is on the 4th of July. New from Minkota are the iPilot trolling motors. The iPilot model adds GPS technology to your trolling motor. The iPilot features spot lock that acts like an electronic anchor, record a track that will allow you to program a path such as a brake line, and a feature to keep you on any directional heading that you choose. For more information on the iPilot, go to www.minkotamotors.com. When most people think world record largemouth bass, you would think Florida, Mexico, or maybe Texas. Well, you'd be wrong. Of the 25 biggest bass ever caught, 19 of them were caught in the state of California. The largest bass ever caught was caught in Japan, 2009, weighing at 22 pounds, 5 ounces, beating the old U.S. record by 1 ounce. That's your hook, line, and sinker news for the day. Thanks for watching. Unlock the power of HDS with your fingertips. The power to find a needle in a haystack. You will outsmart the fish. Get there first with confidence and always stay one step ahead of Mother Nature. Find, navigate, dominate with the new HDS Gen 2 Touch from Lowrance. Meet America's favorite streaming players, the biggest streaming channel lineup, over 200,000 movies and TV episodes. Roku, now this is TV. Before heading to your boat and every time you leave the dock, have all the detailed bottom structure you need to target fish, offshore humps, ledges, creek channels, road beds, shown with the most accurate contour lines from Navionics. And it just keeps getting better with sonar charts. Submit your sonar logs for better local charts. The freshest data every day for your chart plotter and mobile device. View our charts online at Navionics.com. Do you find yourself lost on the water? Have you ever looked to see where the other fishermen are fishing? Are you looking to better understand fish movements and how fish use structure? It's a fact that learning to eliminate unproductive water quickly is a major key in fishing success. Do you want to feel comfortable on any lake you fish? Then hire a certified structure fishing instructor today. Jerry and John are certified structure fishing instructors through the Buck Perry Training Center. These CSIs will go out to your lake and teach you proper lure presentation, how to interpret a map, how to find and locate productive structure. They'll give you your own personalized instruction, both on and off the water. Past students include professional guides, tournament anglers, and regular weekend warriors seeking to better understand structure. Both John and Jerry fish the waters throughout the Midwest and beyond. Jerry's home base is Northern Illinois, and John resides in North Central Indiana. Instruction rates vary on distance traveled and days of instruction. 
please contact John or Jerry to schedule your own personal instruction. Finally, the current has... Got it! Ah. Whew. Now we're on. Nice work, guys. Nice work. Probably more than a thousand here. Man, we would have lost him. He was hooked just a little bit. I was just casting right by those weeds. these a lot and catches them a lot and hold them by the thumb like this their teeth are like sandpaper so you get a ripped up thumb so yeah well I'll let this guy go as you can see Casey had a great day in the water today Let's take a look at some of the notes. Our weather was improving the third day after a cold front. Our water was a light yellow green and we were fishing a current break line at a depth of five to ten feet and our speed was moderate at about one to two miles per hour. <laughs> and by the way, Casey's thumb is just fine. Thanks for watching. Be safe on the water. For more information on the structures that were fished today and where we caught the fish, Visit Fishity for free and send a buddy request to Structure Fishing.